Welcome back friends. Today let's talk about embryo sac. Embryo sac. These are present in the new cells of the ovule. These are developed from the functional megaspore in the ovule of angiosperm. This represents the female gametophyte. Mainly this embryo sac are formed by monosporic type, bisporic type and tetrasporic type. Now let's see the how these embryo sac are made from monosporic type. Only one spore which is involved in the formation of embryo sac that gives the monosporic type. Example for this is polygona and second one is bisporic type in which two spores are involved in the development of embryo sac. Example for this is allium and the third one which is tetrasporic type which is formed by the four spores and this gives the embryo sac and example for this is fritillaria and uh, Peperomia. These are the two examples for uh, tetrasporic type. Mainly this uh, structure of embryo sac is studied by the Strasburger in the year 1879. He, he studied the embryo sac structure and he described this embryo sac mainly into three parts that is antipodals, central cell and egg apparatus. Egg apparatus which is considered as one of the biggest cell in the embryo sac because this egg cell is covered by somewhat thin layer of cells that's why its name is given as egg cell that's why its name given as egg cell and this has synergids which are placed adjacent to this these synergids are helpful they don't have much role in this embryo sac but they helps in the absorption of nutrients and they helps to guide this pollen tube which is entering into the embryo sac like this and uh, these are placed uh, to the anterior side which is exactly touches to the micropylar side to the ovule and uh, let's see what these uh, antipodals these antipodals are not having very interesting they don't have any importance but they have but later after maturation they get disintegrated mainly the antipodals are three cells but one cell which is actually they are made of division takes place in four means four cells are towards micropylar that is towards anterior and four cells to the posterior that is towards antipodal side where these four cells later the one cell disintegrate and one cell which is from the posterior side they migrate towards the central cell and they form one central cell means central polar nucleus they migrated from poles that's why the central polar nucleus like that and uh, mainly this uh, egg cell are situated towards micropylar side and antipodals these are placed in the posterior side that is towards chalazal end now what what happens means when pollen tube which enters into the embryo sac this embryo sac guides from the micropylar that is from the anterior side which enters into the central cell and they form means actually the two cells which is uh, migrated and they form central cell and uh, later this uh, polar tube which enters into the embryo sac and they mature and they form the embryo endosperm they develop into endosperm later the cell division takes place and later they complete uh, this embryo sac get nutrition from the new cells that's the main thing i hope guys if you like my video please hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel thank you